Hey everybody, real quick, I want to show you what's new in Wirecast 7.7, .7, our latest release for our Wirecast live streaming and production software. So, in case you missed it, last version, 7.6, we released NDI input, so you could add network device interface sources over your local network into Wirecast. In Wirecast 7.7, .7, we're letting you go the other direction. Now you can broadcast network device interface protocol across your local network. You need Wirecast Pro in order to take advantage of this feature. Uh, so if you try it, you can test it, but it'll turn on a watermark. It'll turn your software into demo mode if you're using any version besides the Pro version. But it's really cool. Let me show you how it works. In addition to that, we've also added two other features. We've added support for the Blackmagic production camera, 4K production camera. These are some cool old Blackmagic cameras, and you can actually go directly out of the Thunderbolt port and plug it right into your Thunderbolt into your computer and you can get full 4K directly out of this thing. You don't need a capture card, it works directly into the computer which is awesome. Uh, and then we've also added some smarter filtering for your Facebook events. So let me show you real quick all these features on my desktop. So right here I have a Wirecast 7.7 .7 project document open. I've added my camera source, so right there. And I'm just going to configure it to broadcast NDI over the network. Now you do need Wirecast Pro to use this feature. Uh, if you are using any other version other than Pro, you will get a watermark or you'll go into the demo mode, but you can still try it out. So just find it under the output menu, find NDI at the bottom, and you can start the output. Uh, choose whatever size you like or match your current canvas. So I'm going to hit start and that's going to kick Wirecast into the broadcast mode and now I'm broadcasting whatever is in my live area. I'm just going to take my camera over to this side and so now that's live. There it is. And we can just turn that off, off the two window display so it uses a little less resources. And this should be broadcasting across the local network. Now to prove it, I'm just going to hop into another Wirecast document, which I just have open already, totally blank untitled document. And I'm going to add the um, NDI source, WebS Mac Mini Local. And that is my NDI source coming from the other Wirecast project. Now, of course, this Wirecast could be on a totally different computer as long as they're connected on the same network. But I'll pull that in, and I should just pop in right there. And it's as if my other Wirecast document is a uh, camera feeding directly into this one over the network. Now, uh, that, I think say that's pretty cool. So you should definitely try this out. I can't wait to see you guys using NDI on your local networks, and there's a lot of cool ways to do it. Um, even players like VLC Player, I believe you have the right plugins, can pick up NDI sources. So I'm going to close that. Um, and that's basically it. That's how the NDI broadcast works. The next thing I want to show you is I want to bring in the Black Magic camera. Now I have it plugged in again to my Mac through this Thunderbolt uh, cable directly into the back of the camera, and I'm just uh, into the computer. I'm going to bring it in right here. If you go to the capture devices, and you can see right under capture cards, it actually says Black Magic production camera 4K. Click on it and it should load right in. Now I don't have a lens or anything attached to it, so it's just going to be a black shot, but that is, uh, that's basically a shot. If you need to go in and adjust it to the correct size, just head over to your source settings or source um, capture card properties over here, and you can choose the video format all the way up to 4K if that's what you're currently broadcasting at. So very easy to do, really easy to use, and it's a great new uh, production camera for you to use. Uh, highly recommend it, and no capture cards are required. All right, the final thing you'll want to um, do is in, or know about is just smarter event filtering. So I'm going to go to my output destinations. I'm going to add Facebook as a destination. And um, right here, Facebook Live, hit OK. I'm going to authenticate. And I'm going to head over to the events page, and you'll see a list of all the events that my page or that I'm directly responsible for creating. Uh, and you can stream to any one of them. So you're no longer going to see a list of every event that you've ever expressed interest in, just events that you are either you've either created or you've co-created or are directly responsible for. So this should clean things up a little bit and make it a lot easier for you to stream to the correct events that you create. All right, so that is all I have for you on this new update on Wirecast. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's useful for you, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with this latest version of Wirecast. So get out there and keep streaming.